gun tier list. I feel like with CS2, some weapons have become like way more powerful, no? Like, I feel like the game is a bit different now. <clears throat> the voice guy, guys, come on. Lezu, AK, first. Boom. Do I need to say more, guys? Most used weapon in the game for like 10 years plus. Has to be an S plus, S plus. S plus, guys. New, we, need, we need a new tier. Um, an AUG. I guess in A tier? A for AUG. B or A? B or A. I feel like it's... But guys, the AUG is actually pretty decent. I feel like it's very underrated. Very underrated. I'm taking it A. I'm putting it A. I don't care. People can say whatever they want. It's my opinion. Fuck you. AUG. S tier. Obviously, obviously. CZ. Okay, now CZ, guys. The CZ. Um... I feel like it's like a, it has to be a D, right? But like, if for a pistol rounds, it's kind of a threat when you're on uh, eco. Like, if you're camping a corner, this gun is not that bad. You get like one kill, you take an AK. I feel like it's it's at least a C. It could be way worse. I feel like it's a, it's a C. Okay, Deagle, easy. Especially in CS2, Deagle, amazing, amazing. Duelies. Duelies are only good on pistol rounds. Only on pistol rounds, they're like A plus, like A tier, really high A tier. But on like, on an eco against like a full buy, you're not buying duelies, right? You're not buying duelies. They're like, penetration is so bad. I feel like it's, it's like, um, it's like a C as well. I feel like it's like a C. Like on pistol rounds, it's like A, uh, I mean S or A tier. Agreeable, yes? You guys can agree. But on like actual rounds, like you, okay, pistol round is over, what next? What, what's next? You don't use it anymore. You use it on the second pistol round, that's it. It's only C, only C, only C. Famous, famous. I'll give it an A, maybe B or an A. I'll, I'll give it a B, I'll give it a B, I'll give it a B. I haven't played with the famous that much. High B, let's give it a high B, okay? Now the five seven though. The 5-7. I think the 5-7 uh, is pretty decent. No? I haven't played with the 5-7 too much. I think it's like a C. You guys think C? It's so bad. Really? I haven't played too much with the 5-7. It's not C. There's no way it's on the same level as a C, Z, bro. I feel like maybe... Ah, this one's hard. This one's hard. I'm, I'm stuck between A or B. I wouldn't put it at C. I, I mean, S. At one point, it was an S tier weapon in CSGO, but now we're playing CS2. Again, this is a CS2 tier list, okay? It's uh, how they, they're they currently are. I'll put it at above uh, the FAMAS. Yeah. Auto sniper? I think it's a... Uh, bro, okay. You might not be able to understand this, guys, but I think it's a D. Like, no joke, I think it's a D. Like, it has low usage for a reason. You pay, like, what, 5k? 5k? And when you go peak, like, you go peak mid, you still can get one tap by a fucking AWP. You, you spend 5k for a single weapon to deal with AWPers or some shit, and then you do minus 80 with the first shot, where you can easily just buy an AWP, and you just literally one-shot people. Or you can get one tap by a deagle as well. It's like, it's so not worth to buy this. Galil. Guys, I kind of like the Galil on uh, CS2. I think it's going to be like a above uh, an AUG. Very close to S tier for, uh, for me. Very close to S tier. Very close. Very close. It's actually pretty good. I I, uh, I actually enjoyed the Galil. Okay, now the Glock. The Blicky. I think the Glock is actually S tier right now. In CS2, it's S tier. In pistol round. In pistol round. Hey, let me finish. Guys, let me finish. In pistol rounds, it is S tier. The amount of times I get insta one tap by a Glock while holding an angle, it's insane. Even if you think someone from like long range, they're still left with like 20 HP, which is like you, you fart on them and, and they're dead. They're useless for the entire round. But after that, it's kind of, it's a pistol. You're not gonna use it, right? For me, it's an S on pistol. If you ask me, do I prefer like a Glock over Doolies and CZ on pistol round on T-side? Yes, I prefer it. Yes. I think we put it in A. As a starting pistol, it's so good for like pistol rounds. It's so good, bro. It, it, it feels like a laser. It's my play. It's my tier list. I don't care. It's my tier list. I don't care. My tier list. M249. Bye bye. Garbage. Five. How much is it worth? Like 5.2k? 5.2k for a piece of shit like this. So bad. So bad. So bad. So bad. M41S. For me, M41S, S tier. Easily. S tier easily. Like, especially with the new smokes and shit, like, sometimes you just don't know where you get killed from. If it's an M41S, you just don't know where you die from. It's so hard to give call out sometimes. Like, when we were playing in FSL, I had a hard time sometimes, like, telling my teammates where the enemies kill me from with an M41S. I think, like, it's so good. It also feels way nicer to shoot with it. It's just my personal opinion. My personal opinion. Okay? That's just how I feel. Now, the M4A4, I haven't played too much with it. It's very good for, like, spraying, right? 30 ammo. It's I think it has a bit of a faster firing uh, rate, I think. But I don't know, man. People think, hey, that's what I think as well. I go over the Glock, obviously. MAC-10. 
I kind of like the Mactem. In CS2, I kind of like it. People are going to be like confused, but I kind of like it. I think it's an A, like a decent A. Guys, you also have to take into account the amount of uh, money it costs and like how useful it is actually. It's not just like based on like, oh, M4 high, high, uh, costs more. That means it's better. No, 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 no. You, you, you're based on situations and like how useful it is actually in game. So many people buy the Mac 10. Like just because an M249 is like 5K dollars doesn't mean it's better than the Mac 10. You know what I mean? In a real fight, most likely the Mac 10 is gonna win. Max 7. I haven't played much with the Max 7, but it doesn't seem that strong. There's a way better shotgun that you can use. It might be, it might not be this one. Well, you never know. You know. We'll see. I think it's a C. I think it kind of fell off in, in CS2. I don't know if they changed anything about it, but it kind of fell off in my opinion. No, maybe a B. It's a B. It's a B. It's a B. It's a, it's a B. It's a B. MP5. I recently played MP5 in CSGO before CS2 came out. I tried to get global. I got to MGE. Never got to finish the video. That's why it's D. I think the MP5 is kind of dog shit. It's kind of dog shit. It deals less damage per bullet than, an, uh, than a PP Bison. And everyone agrees that a PP Bison is garbage. It deals less damage than a PP Bison and has less bullets and a longer reload time. Are you kidding me? MP9. Bro, I don't think I've, I've, I've seen an actual person use an MP9. I don't think a single person has used an MP9 in CS2. Who the fuck uses an MP9? Wait, it's not the same slot, is it? I feel like both of these SMGs are kind of dog shit, but I feel like the MP7 is a bit better. Maybe it's on the same tier as the Max 7 It's just kind of mid, yeah. It's just kind of there. It's kind of there. This one is dog shit, though. But this one, eh. MP9. Instantly, S tier. Instantly S tier. The amount of times I bought an MP9 just to fucking take someone else's AK from like mid to long range is insane. Let me not, don't get me even like started on like close range. Holy shit. Close range MP9 is like insane. Obviously it's an SMG, but like out of all the SMGs, I'm buying the MP9. It's insane. I don't know what the fuck they did to the MP9, but it feels so good in CS2. Sometimes they get killed in the ramp uh, from like triple by an MP9 because they just double dig me and I'm dead. It's so stupid. Negev. It's not an S tier. Stop trolling, guys. Stop trolling. Uh, Negev is not S tier. Why are you guys trolling? It's like a C. It's very bad on T side. It's kind of mid on CT side. It's kind of mid on CT side. It's somewhat playable on CT side. It's very shit on T side. It's very shit on T side. Guys, stop question marking me. You're stupid. Okay, the Nova. Now, this is a tricky one. I feel like the Nova is a tricky one. Like, sometimes with the Nova, you can one-shot a person from long range. And sometimes you just, like, miss from close range. It's, like, so 50-50, you know? It gives so much money, too. Yeah. For for $1,050, you get 600 back per kill. That is quite good. High B. Let's take it to high B. High B. I think it's a high B. Uh, P2K kind of bad. It's kind of dog shit. I don't like the P2K. It's like a C, right? That's like, like above the Negev, maybe? Better than Glock, you are tripping balls. The amount of times I got killed by a Glock just full W'ing me is like insane. I, I wouldn't put P2000 uh, P in the same tier as a USP. Just because the USP has a suppressor. I think the suppressor gives the USP a bit, a, a bit extra points. MP5 though is dog shit. I don't care. Your tripping think it's higher than D? Yeah, it's kind of loud, isn't it? Maybe we put like up, up like high D, high D. Okay, uh, P250, P250. Next up we have the P250. A. It is kind of good on uh, eco rounds, no? It's pretty good on eco round rounds. I'll put it like low A, low A. It's pretty good on eco rounds, like actually really decent. I rarely see it. Yeah, I think it's kind of underrated in CS2. I don't think the new players have uh, adapted to it. Personally, I don't have it equipped because I uh, I like to troll with a revolver. But uh, if I was actually sweating it, I would uh, like I would equip this P90. It's a solid B. It's like a high B, right? A maybe, maybe A. Oh, you know why it's an S? You know why it's an S? Because of the psychological damage that you do. If you die to a P90, you just get tilted, bro. No, no, the P90 is good. The psychological damage it does to your brain. It's so good. No, 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 P90 is goated. Like how can you die to a P90, bro? No, no, PP Bison straight to D tier. Very low damage for an SMG like that. It takes like five years to kill a person. It's really bad. It's only good against like people with no armor. That, then it's golden, but then, but that's literally every SMG in the game. Maybe not MP5. The MP5 is absolutely garbanzo. R8. Okay, guys, no, stop, stop, stop capping. Okay, guys. R8 is D. As much as I would like it to be like a way stronger weapon, it is D 
tier. I think I have a video where I put it in E tier or like a C tier for this tier. And I was I was uh, glazing. It's it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. The the mouse one mechanic is a bit too unique for CS. Mouse one delay is not that good. And the right click is like it doesn't feel like you can even hit anyone with a right click. So you're better off just like shooting mouse one and like good luck killing anyone with the mouse one mechanic from close range or anything. The sword off. It's bad. It's really bad. The sword off has like no. Yeah, it's really bad. It's like it might be worse than the revolver. Like no joke. I think it is literally worse than the revolver. Yeah, who the fuck uses a sword off? The scar twenty. I think it's called right. I think this one is in B tier. I think the scar is in B tier. Just because it's a bit better because you have to hold angles with this, right? As a T, you don't really hold angles. You have to push. Pushing with an auto sniper, it's kind of bad. But when you're holding with an auto sniper, it's a bit better. It's a bit better. I think it's a B at least. We have we have to give it props, guys. The scar is not that bad on CT side. It actually is pretty decent. SG. 553, five, I think it's called, right? Yeah, I've seen a lot of people play with it. Personally, I'm not a big fan of it, but it is pretty decent. It is pretty decent. I think it's above the AUG, just because you can, like, one-tap with it. Cheaper than the AUG and it one-tap. It has better accuracy than the AK? I did not know that. The spray is very bad, yeah. It ignores armor? Huh? 100% armor penetration. Huh? I did not know that. That is kind of strong. You got integral? That is good. That is very good. Scout, easy ass? Ah, nah. I think it's a skill issue weapon. Scout is a skill issue weapon, in my opinion. Like, you need a lot of skill to perform with the scout. But at the same time, I think the scout is kind of strong if you can hit your shot. It's not really good for, like, new players, is it? Like, you can tap somebody for 70 damage and they're out of the game. Yeah, I I'm I'm willing to give it, like, high A, maybe. I'll give it very high A, okay? Guys, you can't get mad at a high A. I, well, when I played scout only, it was kind of cool to play with it. It was kind of fine. I kind of managed to play with it. I'll give it S. I'll give it S. I'll give it S. Okay? You guys happy? You guys happy? I would give it an S. Out of all the pistols, I think it's one of the, the best ones. It's very well made for T-side. Like, it's it's the T-side pistol. Very good running accuracy. Like, it's, it's so good. I think it's S. Now, the UMP. I haven't played much with the UMP, and I haven't seen anyone play with the UMP at all. It's like a C. It kind of fell off, right? At some point, it was very OP, but I feel, I feel like it fell off. They'll give it like a... Above the Negeva. Okay, the USP. I think it's like eight, A tier. Has to be A tier, right? Mm, nah, I wouldn't put it in the same realm as a... Um... Maybe it is eight here. The amount of times I get fucked by the Glock while playing with a USP in CT. I swear to God. It feels so unfair sometimes to play with a U USP against the Glock. But sometimes they have those moments where the USP is like going crazy. Maybe it's a skill issue. Maybe it, maybe it is a skill issue. It is pretty good. It is pretty good. For what it is, like a starting pistol, it is very nice. It is very nice. It is very satisfying. Yeah. I give it an A. I give it like, yeah, below the Mac 10. And now the last gun. Actually, not the last one. Mr. Editor, I want you to put in the Zeus as the last one, okay? Okay, we're okay. This is not the last gun, guys. We still have the Zeus. Look, you can see it, guys, right? You can see it. You can see it. I can see it. I see the Zeus here. Look, it's the Zeus. This is an S tier weapon. This is the most broken gun. Okay, I'm kidding. But I think it is above the Deagle. The amount of times my team has been slaughtered by the XM is insane. It's so OP. So OP. It's so good. It's like a sniper, bro. So good. It's so good. Okay, now the last weapon, which we can clearly see, guys, is the Zeus. I feel like the Zeus is very underrated on eco rounds. I feel like it's an A. It's like a decent A. Where on A, though? If you know how to use it, it's like very close to S. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. For 200 bucks, which is like nothing in CS, you can take someone else's kit with just the press of a button from close range. What about knife? Oh, shit, the knife as well. The knife has to be DTR, bro. Like, how many times do you knife anyone like, in a game? It has to be DTR. I think the knife is DTR, obviously. The knife is not S tier. It's DTR. Yes, the killer ward is massive. Okay, maybe the killer ward is kind of good. Knife is at B. Ni we put knife at B tier here. And that's my tier list done. That's my tier list. That's my tier list. I think it's pretty good. Hate on it all you want. That's my opinion, okay? My opinion. You can disagree. You can disagree. I don't care. My opinion and my opinion only, okay? Boom. Boom. That's it.